Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So today's video is going to be a drugstore tutorial. It's a full face using everything under seven pounds. Seven pounds and under. I was just going to pick random brands, random drugstore brands, but I thought like, let me try out the Revolution Pro products because I haven't tried them out yet and I had a bunch. I went out and bought a bunch of them. The first thing, as I usually would do, is brows. And I have the Revolution Pro Black Revolution Pro Microblading Effect Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I got two shades because I wasn't sure what I would end up picking. So I have chocolate and dark brown. I burnt my fingers just before I started filming. So like this part, it is, I'm in agony right now. It hurts to touch things. So they look like this. They remind me of the um, ABH Brow Wiz, which I'm not really a big fan of. So let's see how these ones would fare. Where is the... Okay, once you take them out of the box, you don't know what's what. So I don't even know what this one is. You might have to hold on to the box, the packaging, because once it's out, okay, that's chocolate. So this is chocolate, and then okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with dark brown and see how this looks. So yeah, my brows have been microbladed, so I'm using a microblading pencil. For those who are wondering, I had them redone again. Um, so yeah, I'm actually due for the next touch up. It feels very buttery. I mean, it does apply the product, but it's just very, very faint. So it's more for like a natural look. I didn't get any any other brow products, but I do have Revolution. It's not it's now Revolution, no more makeup revolution. So I do have the Revolution brow pomade. I kind of don't even need to fill in it that much to be honest, but I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna try the Revolution Pro Fruit Full Cover Camouflage Concealer in C13 and see if that will be the right shade for my under my brow basically. I usually use a different one, more of a yellow toned one, but let's see what this one looks like. Hmm. I would probably need something more on the yellow side. It kind of blends with my skin tone. 13, so 13 blends with my skin tone. So I don't know how that's gonna look when I do use it under my eyes, but um, we'll see when we get there. Next thing I'm going to do is to prime my face. They have a primer. They had quite a few primers, but obviously I was going to go for the matte primer. So this is Revolution Pro Matte Primer. Um, don't remember the price. I'll, I'll probably, I'm going to put the price of each. Oh, it's like a silicon, it's like silicon based. This wasn't what I was expecting to be honest, but let's, let's try it out. It reminds me of the Smashbox primers. I was honestly expecting something else. That's interesting. Anyway, let's see if this does the job. I kind of expected it to be like matte, like mattifying. And uh, so far, I don't see any change to my skin. So I don't know how this is going to, maybe I should give it, maybe I'll give it a few minutes and see how it looks afterwards. My face still feels quite oily, so not quite sure about that miss this mattifying primer. We have the Full Cover Camouflage Foundations. I picked up 13 and 14. That's 13 and this is 14. So, did I pick the same? Oh no, I picked up the same. I picked up two 13s. No wonder they look the same. Oh, for Sake. Honestly, I, I feel like tutorials just don't work for me anymore. Like, I'm just having things to happen. Like, I do have the foundation dropped, though. I do have it in the shade. I'm actually annoyed. 14. So, we're gonna. And I've opened them both as well. Okay, let's see what the foundation drops in 14 looks like because I'm gonna have to. I feel like. I mean, it kind of matches my chest. Okay, 14 is very on the like grey, can you even see it, like, very grey. That's 14. I 
Okay, so we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix the two because, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm actually annoyed. 14 is very gray. So we're gonna mix 13 and the 14. They also had a like an orange corrector primer which I didn't realize they had so I do need to correct color correct like we said this is this is a full face of under seven pound product so we're gonna use the we're gonna use the LA girl one which is, a, which is what I usually use to color correct my under eye and my mouth area Put more of the 14. Oh goodness me. This still feels quite light though. This definitely does not feel like this will be a matte foundation. I don't think it's a matte foundation anyway, but I just feel grey. I feel quite grey. I I feel like my face looks slightly ashy. Um, but that's obviously not to do with the product, it's obviously to do with me and not picking up the right shade. I'm going to apply a bit of the 13 concealer on my, uh, to my under eye. Because like I said, I feel like it is much closer to my skin tone as opposed to a highlight shade. They have 18 shades in the foundation and I think the same and the concealer as well but I will put that in the video somewhere so it is kind of it's highlighted my under eye a little bit obviously not as bright as I would want it or not as yellow as I would want it they actually have they've also extended their conceal and define this is the revolution brand they've extended their conceal and define concealers and they were supposed to send it to me but it never came but from swatches the new seven shades none of them actually still none of them suit me either so which is fine I already have concealers at work and currently I use the Kat Von D in Deep 33 and then 12, C12 in the original, well, in the original shade C12. I'm going to use this palette it's called Intoxicate. Let's see how pigmented they are. Five matte shades and three shimmer shades. Let's see, I'm going to go with this one. i use that as my transition colour. So for my inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade, it's like a cranberry, that's nice. I'm going to use this dark shade as my inner and outer corner. The pigmentation isn't, isn't so bad, it's kind of like a dark plummy purple. I'm gonna go back and carve my brows. I need the highlight to be a little bit lighter. For my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with another one of their palettes. This is called Bewitch. I'm gonna use this one. Back in with the dark plummy shade on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna go back again with the C13 concealer and apply that to my under eye I'm going to apply it down the bridge of my nose as well I really don't think the primer did anything in terms of mattifying my face it does feel extremely extremely shiny we're going to set my under eye because I'm looking extremely shiny so this is the Revolution another Revolution Pro Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana I'm going to apply my face powder There were some contour powders but they weren't kind of not they weren't dark enough for me so I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this shade here. I'm gonna contour my nose as well, even though I don't really need to. I feel like the highlight has kind of contoured my nose for me, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't think they had blushes, so I'm gonna go back to this palette and take 
a little bit of these three. For my highlight, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro 4K Highlighter Palette. And this is in gold. It looks like that. Off the bat, it looks like it's going to be very, very glittery. So we're going to take this shade. Probably mix these two. It is quite nice. It's all right, actually. It doesn't really. It's not really giving me too. I mean, let me look at it closely. It's not really giving me too much like the. It's not really giving me like glittery vibes. It's all right. They do have a trio. They do have a highlighter trio, as well, um, which I don't. I didn't pick up. So if you do really want, I don't know if I don't know how that would look. I did swatch it, but I took it out of my basket. Not sure why. <laughs> I can kind of see the yeah. I can kind of see the glitter effect. So if you're not really about that glitter life, if, if you're not really a big fan of that, then you may not want to go for this one. But I think the other trios might look a little bit better. Might look, I mean, I feel like it's quite pigmented. I feel like it, it's it's giving me a nice glow. I need something in my bra bone, so I'm gonna go in with this palette. This is eight pounds, but it's also from Revolution Pro. It's the Re Regeneration Revelation palette, and there's a nice gold shade here called Fearless. It's not as shimmery as the other ones, so hopefully it looks okay. So it kind of still is on the shimmery side, but I don't, there isn't anything else I can use as my brow bone highlight, so this will have to do. Okay, so the final thing is the lip product. I have a bunch of their Supreme Matte Lip Pigments. I picked up quite a few, so let me just swatch. The first one is Premonition. Can you see that? Illusion. This one is more like a peachy nude. Foresight. It's like a magenta pink elevation six cents which might look a darker plummy purple these are all four pounds by the way so these look really good for four pounds and then we have inconspicuous incons inconspicuous which is like a bright orange So those are the ones I picked up. So I think I'm gonna use, oh gosh, I don't even know which one. I don't even know which one it was, this one. I think I'm gonna try a premonition. And apply a little bit of illusion to the center. I definitely, definitely need a lip liner for this. Like, it just doesn't look good without a lip liner. Okay, so I don't usually use a finishing spray because it usually doesn't work for me, but they do have one. So this is their Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. So I'm gonna apply this to my face. It definitely doesn't have the nicest smell. I do not like that smell. So that's that. I feel like I want to change my outfit. Everything is too black. It's kind of dull. So obviously seeing that I, you know, got two of the same shades of foundation, I had to mix it with the foundation drops. Honestly, it definitely does live up to its name. Full cover camouflage. It did camouflage. You know, I has I still have quite a few dark spots. It did come it did camouflage that those areas well. Mixing it, it was looking a little bit grey, but I think I brought it back to life with the highlight. They do have this foundation mixer in orange so if anything is looking quite dark for you and I didn't realize that this was actually a pipette you actually squeeze out the um, <laughs> the foundation take a little bit of the orange that might be too much it would look less gray and more that looks very orange but you get the idea I think that's a really good idea so if you and they don't they also have a foundation darkener as well to darken also to lighten the foundation. The lip, I did go over it with this Primark lip gloss just because I felt like it was looking a little bit too pink. I don't know what it's looking like on camera. Hopefully this turned it down. 
and made it look more on the nude side. I couldn't tell you if they transfer because I applied lip gloss. I will probably put like an update in the comment section about these products because obviously I'm just trying it for the first time. They have 30 shades of the lip pigments which are amazing. The concealer wasn't a really big fan just because of the fact that obviously my shade wasn't there and it didn't dry. It was still quite dewy. You'd have to set it with a powder. The brow products really good. I think the brow pen will give more of like a natural look to your brows which is also perfectly fine. Highlighters, I think it was fine. You might not like the glittery effect in the beginning but you can still blend it out. I mean blending it out does lose its glow slightly but I think it's still quite glowy. Like, look at it. Eyeshadow palette, pretty good. Really really good. The pigmentation is amazing and they have quite a lot to choose from and I think these ones were... I think this one's were... I think this one's were... I think this were was four pounds even four or six pounds which is pretty good and then you have the the bigger ones which are eight pounds and you have 18 shades it actually doesn't look like it doesn't look oily i think setting it helped it doesn't look oily i probably wear it with like less of a pink lip more of a nude so it it, it depends but anyway i hope you like this video i hope you like the look you know, didn't want to do a brown and gold eye again. Hope you like this look and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you watch my tutorials because like, I feel like when it comes to tutorials, they're not my favorite to do just because people don't watch them anymore these days. So I really appreciate it if you watch this video. It lets me know if I should keep going with this, especially doing tutorials. If you don't watch them, it doesn't really motivate me to want to make more, even though the majority of the time when my comments is all like it's always about tutorials missy tutorials can you do the tutorial can you put them it's like you guys are not watching it so it's difficult to do them and push them out as much so i really hope that if you guys watch and support and it will get me a lot more motivated to do more um, makeup tutorial videos but anyway i hope you like this video anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys